Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Wake the kids, phone the neighbors, because today we're going to be making a sandwich with the Gros Michel banana. Now, the Gros Michel was the predominant banana available worldwide until about the mid-50s when a blight came and wiped out a lot of the crop. I thought they were extinct. Turns out, no. You can buy them online. They ship them to you from Miami. A little spendy, a little bit of a splurge, but I thought, hey, let's give it a go. Let's see what a banana was like uh, back in the day. Today's recipe comes from Bananas in the Modern Manor from 1930. Uh, this was sent over to me by Bobby over at Retro Recipes Kitchen. He and his girlfriend Kieko make some pretty interesting dishes. You should go check it out. But before we make the sandwich, I think we should taste the banana to see if it's really banana-y. Let's give this Gros Michel banana a go. That's a pretty intense banana flavor. Uh, I, would, I don't know if I would call it banana extract level, but it's definitely sweeter and it has a lot more pronounced banana -iness. This sandwich doesn't have a name, so why don't we just uh, make it and give it a go? Naturally, we start off by putting bananas on whole wheat bread. Then we top that with snappy cheese. I'm assuming sharp cheddar is snappy. Okay, let's give this banana and cheese sandwich a go. Snappy cheese. This, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I would eat this on the regular. I'm gonna try and plus it up a little bit with something that I think will go with the cheese and with the banana. I'm gonna be using Sullivan Family Farms Taste Bud Crusher Hot Sauce. Ghost pepper, Trinidad scorpion peppers, Jamaican red peppers, chipotle, habanero, and our bull peppers, and then vinegar, sullivine spice blends, and agave. I think the fruitiness of all those peppers is gonna play well with the cheese and the banana. Okay, let's give this plussed up banana and snappy cheese sandwich a go. The spicy peppers have a fruitiness to them that works with both the banana and the cheese. It's an interesting combination, I'll, I'll say that. All right, so the uh, banana and snappy cheese sandwich on its own. It was interesting, I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. I don't know if I'll make it again. With the hot sauce from Sullivan uh, Family Farms that you can get over on Sullivan.com, not a paid endorsement. It's better, definitely better. I'm probably gonna bump it up to a six and a half. I don't know that I'll ever make this again. Um, I will finish it though, because I paid a lot of money for those bananas. I ain't gonna throw them out. <laughs> All right, till next time. I don't know how to do it. <laughs>